Ikwe. I don't know if you can hear me yet. Still loading. I'm going live here. It looks like the loading thing is going. So I don't know if it's registered yet. We'll see. I'm going to give it a couple minutes here. Ah, there it says live. There. I think we're on now. Hey, Ayakui. Neck now, Skip Lowry. Table Meth Nanewacha. I'm happy to see you guys. I'm happy to be here. Table Meth Nanewacha. Um, I'm coming from you, or coming to you from Sumac Village here at Patrick's Point State Park in the North Coast Redwoods District. I want to appreciate all of our visitors that come and uh, respect our social distancing measures and uh, masking up if you can't um, be within a uh, safe distance. You know, it's tough times and I want to appreciate all of our maintenance people here at California State Parks. You know, you guys are frontline servicing um, people that uh, really love the outdoors and want to come be a part of our parks. And so it takes a team to um, fulfill that responsibility. So my hat is off to the maintenance crew at here and all over California State Parks. So with that said, um, and that's from my heart. Um, I've been, I come from maintenance. I take care of these village, um, this village here. I've been taught to split the redwood, um, go gather the hazel lashing, turn it into rope, tie the knots, um, dig out rotten uh, boards, replace them, um, create relationships with the different um, entities that have access to redwood. Um, California State Parks does, but uh, unfortunately 95% of our old growth redwoods have been clear cut and do not exist anymore. So 5% is left and the old growth redwood is uh, in our language called popoline. Can everybody say popoline? Popoline. And that's the grand ones. And we talk about our elders in the same language. You can say popoline for an elder in your community, a grand one. Or you can say popoline, Keith, the grand old redwood tree. So 95% of our grand ones were gone. And the grand ones were what we um, made our houses with. It's the best grain material, um, the purest straight grain uh, wood that you can find um, almost anywhere in the world. So in our culture, we have a creation story. So today I'm going to share that creation story with you guys. Um, if you have been part of my previous posts, I uh, told you I was going to keep you on for this story. So today I'm going to share it. I'm going to step back a little bit. I'm going to sit on this uh, redwood stool here and I'm going to talk as loud as I can. We actually have some audience members behind the camera here. So I'm live and I'm live. And that's awesome. So, yeah, every oh, thank you guys. Woo! You guys are awesome. So I'm gonna share a story. Um, any questions or comments, feel free to uh, post them. I will get to them as soon as possible. But I'm gonna step back from the camera and uh, share with you why the Keith, the redwood tree, is considered the heart of the Yurok people. Nausicaan, they say, a long time ago, before time was time, when humans didn't exist physically, the first humans here on this geographic location at Sumag Village were the Yurok people. And before they came here and manifested physically, we have stories about the time of creation. This is a time where animals, trees, rocks, everything could communicate like we do with each other. You might have to learn a different language, but you can learn that language and you can communicate. And they were doing that. They were setting up this world, building this world for the purpose of a relationship with humans who were going to come and be a part of this world in the future. And so there was the trees, there was the birds, there were the insects, the flying people, the four-legged people, the insect critters, the, the swimming people, and all we're getting to build this world for us to be a part of. Well, there was this little family of brown birds, and uh, they all the birds started have it learning. Oh, we got to go down south. We got to migrate. We go somewhere warm to have our family, right? 
A lot of birds do that. Not all of them, but a lot of them do. And this little family used to do that. And they said, we gotta go. But one of their little birds heard a wing, couldn't fly. Oh, heard his wing. Winter was coming, the world was being set up. This little brave bird said, go ahead family, go, go, go. I'll be okay, I'll, I'll get help, I'll be all right. When you come back, I'll be better and I'll see you again. So you take care of yourself and go. So they, they hugged, they said in their love, the brown bird family, all the family goes down with all the other birds. Now this little bird, little brown bird with a hurt wing, couldn't fly, so he was hopping around. And he was singing a song, it was a happy song. He was like, hey, and he was thinking, ah, oh, I'll be all right. And he was thinking positive. Now this story is about two hours long. I got 15 minutes, so I have to cut out a little bit, or actually a lot, of the story. But this little bird went through all these, he asked all of these different plants in this time of creation for help. Can I have help? Can I live in your branches? I got a hurt wing. I can't go with my family. And time after time, all of these different uh, spiritual beings that are now becoming physical to be a part of this physical world said no. No, no. The alder tree said no. The dogwood tree said no. The acorn tree said no. Lots of other uh, plants said no and didn't help this poor little bird. So his, after a while, he was coming down from, you know, uh, down the river. He was walking down the Klamath River, the Yurok people's ancestral territory, uh, and he was getting sad. And his song started sounding a little more sad. <laughs> And he, did, he had his head down, he's walking down the river, and he's like, man, no one's gonna help me. Maybe I won't make it this winter. And his head was down, he walked in, and from the distance, this tree heard this song. He said, that song sounds kind of sad, like someone needs, sounds kind of sad, like, and his heart started feeling this emotion. This tree, this grand tree, this popoline, started feeling this song. And he's like, where's that little tiny, it was just a small little song. It's one of the smallest birds here. But he listened, he paid attention. And he saw that little bird coming. That little bird didn't see. He was head was down, kind of feeling bad. And he ran into the redwood tree, that little bird singing a song. Oh! And he couldn't see around it. It was so big. He couldn't see the top of it. It was so tall. He backed up a little bit. And he was almost scared to ask this little bird, he, she, her, his, like, I don't want to put a, a gender to this little bird, because I don't know. It was just a little bird, and it needed help. And it, it looked up, and it said, it mustered enough courage. It almost didn't. It said, man, this tree, every other tree and every plant, even the small ones didn't help me. Why would this one help me? But he, he asked for help. Are you quickie? Chosk. Chotnaguri Kerm, help me. That the tallest tree in the world bent down, put his bow on the ground. And that little bird jumped on and he stood back up. And then that little bird jumped up, gave a little one winged hug. And that redwood tree said, You can stay with me for as long as you need. And so it, they got to know each other. And this bird told the story that all my family left and they're, they're, they're gonna come back and thank you for helping me out. And this redwood tree, this Keith said, when your family comes back, you tell them, you uh, go to the top, he said, go to the top of my tree. So this little bird, boop, 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 all the way up to the top of the tallest tree in the world. He looked around, he said, you see all my family, Natank Mare? And they walk to Natank Mare, see them? They have a heart just like me. So when your family comes back, you guys can all stay with us if you want to. So finally, they come back. A little wing, uh, broke wing is hit, healed. The guy, kid can fly again. And his family comes back and they find him. 
and they reunite and they're so happy and they say hey this me our 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 this guy that protected me this person that this this being this spiritual being that protected me peace popolin keys he said we can stay with him we don't got to go down south anymore so to this day now i'm going to jump into now there's a little brown seafaring bird called the marbled murlet in english to this day that bird doesn't have to go down south he roosts in our old growth redwood trees they have that relationship since time immemorial and it teaches yurok people about how to be in the community you got to be helpful when someone asks for help you don't turn them down you, you 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 put your stuff down and you help out when you need to help and so creation creation was happening during this time and all the uh bushes and spiritual beings that are now physical in this world that turned down that little bird they all have lessons for the art people the dogwood tree first tree to bloom beautiful whitish yellow blossoms if you've never seen a dogwood tree look it up they're so beautiful um, but they only bloom for a very short time creation said you need to teach this Europe people about it's not about what you look like it's not about vanity it's about how much you help your community so you're gonna teach Europe people from now on you're gonna be so beautiful you're gonna bloom first but you're gonna and then you're gonna be normal the rest of the year really short time of being beautiful to show your people it's not about what you look like it's about what you do for the world acorn tree at that time didn't have to produce nuts didn't have to uh, reproduce through acorns creation came down and said hey you didn't help this little bird from now on there's your people going to be coming here they're going to come physical and they're going to need food they're going to need sustenance they're going to need substance they're going to need a uh, healthy um, longevity and it's your responsibility from now on to provide that for the Europe people to show that one tree can provide for a community because acorns they they shed so many nuts and if you have a, a nice grove of acorns five six seven whoo, be hi um five or six seven trees can feed a lot of people so from to this day the staple of the Europe people one of the main ones is our acorns from our, our from our oak trees and the the, the alder tree said I was too busy I'm too busy I got all my leaves to hold up I can't hold up a little broke wing bird and creation came down and said hey you're up people are gonna need a lesson about putting their stuff down and picking up someone else's stuff and helping them carry it to what helping up helping people out that's what people are here for they're to help create balance in the world and so you're gonna teach a lesson so you and all your cousins every winter are gonna drop all your leaves and you're gonna be naked and they're gonna teach you you're up people that you don't want to lose what you got just because you don't want to help someone else. You got to be able to put your stuff down and help someone else out when they ask. And then the creation came to this redwood tree and said, you're not people. They're going to need someone to protect them. They're going to be big. They're humans. They're going to have this huge energy. They're going to affect the world. Um, but they're going to need guidance. They're going to need protection. They're going to need lessons. They're going to need to be in relationship with something that is solid, strong, and pure. So from, the, from now till the end of time, the Yurok people are going to consider you the heart of the people. Because the way you treated that little bird and, and showed that little bird kindness when nothing else would, those Yurok, that Yurok spirituality and, and presence is going to be just like that little bird. It's going to need a lot of help. And to this day, we build our houses at a Yurok split plank. We honor the house. There's a heart in every house. There's a canoe over this way um, that has a heart and kidneys and lungs and a face. We honor, even after a tree falls, the spiritual essence that it has always been a protector, a provider, and the heart of the Yurok people. So I don't know, I can't read my questions from this far away, but I appreciate um, everyone that's been participating in my Facebook Lives in the past. I encourage you to look at every day at three o'clock on North Coast Redwoods District. We have other interpreters. Um, we have a great team that talk about lots of different subjects. Um, my specialty is Europe culture. So next Sunday, if you wanna learn more from me um, at three o'clock, join in again. On Wednesdays, it's really special. We have two um, female Yurok cultural interpreters 
who can share um, that perspective, which is not for me. And your culture, there's this balance and respect. And so um, they have a whole um, awesome um, energy and existence that you, I encourage you guys to go explore and learn from. So until next time, Taki Kamdanewa check. Ciao.